Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark. I'm here with Steve in the studio in San Rafael, California. We're talking about Final Cut Pro and Logic. Yes, Logic Pro. Um, over the course of the holidays, we released a what I call a trilogy. Yeah, three-part series using yes. Logic and Final Cut. Using Logic and Final Cut, they're just kind of a match made in heaven. If you make movies, you're going to want to score your movies. Yes. So uh, we spent a lot of time in the tutorial, particularly Mary Plummer, the author, showing how you would uh, bring your movie in and, and score it, and affect your dialogue, music, and effects, really deliver a finished Very soundtrack. Cool. So, yeah, I'm dying to go through that. So I thought I would take some time because Mac Break really is about post-production, not just Final Cut. So like, right. how would you prep a movie from Final Cut that, that you were going to score in Logic? So how would you get it ready before bringing it over into well, Logic? Well, no, you're gonna, we're going to bring it into Logic, oh, okay. but how to okay. kind of prep Logic for somebody who's going to score uh, a movie. Got it. Okay, right. let's take a look. All right, so here we have a... A uh, project that I shot uh, a little while back, and it's a little short, um, little scene from a short film. <laughs> and I wanted to show you how I prep the movie. I know I want to score this. I have a temporary score in here. You can see I have some some music here. This is this is all temp score. Um, and, but I want a, an actual composer to go into Logic and, and create something unique. Mm -hmm. um, so like, I, and what I did was I've added a couple things. I've added chapter markers. And what's important about this is. Uh, you see those chapter markers. I can put little cue points. I want romantic music here. I want more, you know, frenetic music here, and I want more of a music punch there. So I'm giving notes to the composer. Notes to the composer okay. right mm -hmm. here, and you'll see that these chapter markers can come across into Logic for the composer. It's okay. fantastic. So I've added those chapter markers. The other thing I've done is I've applied a time code generator. It's always good to apply a time code generator um, so that they, they have a reference movie. Yeah, in so logic. you can talk about, hey, what's going on at this particular time code. Exactly. So mm -hmm. you really you really want to do this before you... And that's the built-in time code generator. Built-in time code generator. In the generator's li right. uh, library browser. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and then I just spit this out using Final Cut Pro. So I just made an H.264 movie. Yeah. There you go. So what I'm going to do is... In fact, I've already done it, so I'm not going to bore you with doing that now. Uh, what I'm going to do is go into Logic, and I'm going to go... A new. I'm going to create. A, I'm going to start from scratch. Yeah. So I'm going to click new, and um, it's going to ask me what kind of project do you want. There's kind of MIDI projects, uh, basically software and instrument. Audio is the default choice. You're going to yes. work with audio loops, and I'm just going to leave everything as a default. Default number tracks one. I'm going to click create. All right. So here we are in Logic. All right. Great. Um, there's a couple of things you want to do, and uh, I tend to want to close up all these windows that I'm not. That I'm not using, so these little inspectors, like the inspector and the library, just, yes. just close Get it. Get rid right? of them. Uh -huh. Right. The next thing you'll want to enable is what Logic calls global tracks. And if you click this little button or press the letter G on your keyboard, you reveal these things called global tracks. And global tracks are like lanes of data in Logic that that affect everything in Logic. So, for example, if you have a score, you can affect the tempo okay. of the entire score and and set like. Keyframes, you can adjust the tempo over time. It's kind time. of an adjustment layer. Yeah, in a way. it is uh -huh. in a way. Yeah, it affect, again affects the whole, th and that's yeah. why it's like above everything I see. In, in Logic. Uh -huh. So, uh, but see, there's some things for music scoring that I may not need in here. So, what I'm going to do is go into Track and uh, go down to Global Tracks, and then just down here to configure Global Tracks. You get this little window, and it shows you what Global Which Tracks are on by default. On. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, I don't need tempo, don't need signature, but I do want movie. For and sure. I don't really need arrangement. So I've just simplified what's there, mm -hmm. okay? And now I, 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 I'm ready to bring in my, my movie. So I just, like here, we get this little movie button. Here it says open movie. So I'll just select that, go to the desktop. I happen to know these are sitting on the desk. There's that movie I exported. And you exported with out time of, code. With time code. Mm -hmm. Click open. Now the first thing you're going to uh, be asked is, do you want to bring in... The, the audio file from the movie as a track in Logic. And mm -hmm. I say yes, because the composer's gonna wanna kind of have reference for what you've already yes. done. So why why uncheck that, right? So you you wanna leave that, extract the auto track so it actually puts it in its own track. Click, click OK. And then lastly, unless you unless you told Logic ahead of time what the sample rate is for the project, it's gonna notice a mismatch between what you're trying to bring in and what the project is. What it's set up for. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know it's 48, so I'm gonna override. I'm gonna say no. I want everything coming in at 48. Okay. So it brings in this movie window, and you can grab the corner, and you, of course you're going to want to resize this thing and just kind of move it, move it where you want. Right. Okay. So there, there's your movie window. You have a playhead like Final Cut, so you can scrub through, and you can see there's my reference track. You can play a little bit of this, and you can see it's. Ooh, 
So there's a little bit of a reference track. Mm -hmm. um, you could resize. See, notice there's thumbnails up here. You can see like a, a reference thumbnail track. For the movie, but yeah. Yeah, just like, like Final Cut. You can grab right here in this little lane and drag mm -hmm. down Lighter. and you can, see, mm -hmm. you can see all your thumbnails. Now, Logic will default to showing you the first and last frame of the ah. scene, which is really, really nice. Um, the, uh, another way you want to set this up is Logic's music scoring application. So this is bars and beats up here. Mm -hmm. And you may want to see time code along here. You might want to see some other information. If you click this little button here, right now it says beats and project. Let's say beats and time. Okay, so now um, the, this window is showing you beats and the time code ah, window. See and that? the time code, I see it matches the 2806. It, it does. Down there. But that's, uh -huh. that's kind of hard to read. So there's one other thing you want, want to do. It's like open giant time display. <laughs> not that <laughs> giant. It's not giant. We, oh, it's not? What do you mean it's not? Okay, you can make it as big as you want. Okay. <laughs> Is that giant enough for you? I need that. I need that. I mean, I, I think Final Cut should. Have, I've been saying Final Cut should have that yeah. feature in there. And then I yeah. know there's third party. Um, yeah, plugins. FX Factory makes but, a free yeah. free version that you can use. <laughs> exactly. So so now I have my movie. I have my time code. Um, it's pretty nice. nice. You might want to see. As I was mentioning here, you might want to see time code in the ruler area. You go over here under View. Just say secondary ruler, ah. and you get a secondary ruler that now you have time code Great. along with bars and beats. Nice, isn't that nice? nice? Yeah. Now one last thing. Remember those chapter markers I told you about? Yeah. What's oh, going on you? with those guys? Oh, fantastic! Go over here to the movie um, pop down of the the global track. Notice import movie chapter markers. Ah, okay. As soon as I do that, boom. There are my chapter markers that I had lined out in uh, Final Cut Pro 10. So I'm going to zoom out. You can see there's all the, that's there's my out, my stinger nice. out, and then there's all those little piece of chapter markers. Really useful for the composer because now it's taking they my. Know exactly what you want. They, they get a clear sense of the notes you put in for the kind of music you want. You've got a reference to the audio, the temp audio, the view views. You've got time codes that can talk to each other. Absolutely. So it's completely set up to be able to have a. A good uh, session. Yep, it's really good. You, in fact, you can just hand off the composer. Here, I already know the work for you. Here's the here's you, the project. You set the logic project, yeah. right? In fact, you can take this one step further. You can save this as you you can actually save this as a template, and uh, and what's so really all this UI all changes that work, you've made. All those UI changes you make, you open it as a template, and it'll open that Ready way go. every single time. I mean, don't come yeah. on. Right. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's very nice. Yeah. It's very don't nice. you don't, don't you want to be able to do that? I, didn't, I right? didn't say it. <laughs> I, didn't I, I did. I said it. All right. <laughs> so. Well, there there you go. I, we're ready to very go. Good. Okay. Ready, ready to cool. Go. So, um, <laughs> hey, if you guys are doing you know sound design or you have somebody doing sound design for you using Logic, you definitely want to check out the tutorial, the three part tutorial series, WorpleTraining.com that Mary Plummer did, who's just amazing. She's a great teacher. She knows audio inside out. So definitely check that out. Uh, and there's free lessons in the player, right? Like trial yeah, lessons. Yeah, you can, yeah. They can, they can so on the Ripple player, you can check it out in detail. So check that out. Hope this tip was useful for you if you're, if you're experimenting with Logic. Nice companion to Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on MacBreak Studio.